Welcome back, crew. Today we're looking at 1981's My Bloody Valentine. A great and fun horror flick that I, I really enjoyed. This is one that, I mean, it, it stands it's, stands on its own in the pantheon of horror films. It's well known to the people that know it, but it's still kind of a, a reclusive one to people who aren't truly into horror films. And I don't know if it's true, or I wonder if the band My Bloody Valentine took their title from this from this film, I would guess they did. And if you've never heard of the band My Bloody Valentine, you definitely should because they're amazing. 1981, rated R, one hour and 30 minutes. According to IMDb, is a decades old folk tale surrounding a deranged murderer killing those who celebrate Valentine's Day. It turns out to be tr true to legend when a group defies the killer's order and people start turning up dead. Directed by George Mahalka. And stars really, I couldn't say anyone that I've ever heard of outside of this film. Um, nevertheless, the performance is really good. The, this VHS release, I believe, is 1998. The only uh, other date I can see besides the original date is 1998 down there. So obviously if there's a 1998 on the thing, it means it wasn't, wouldn't have been printed before 1998. But it could be later. In pretty good condition. This one, I believe, was a, a pickup from my friend Jonathan, who's at Bose, at B-O-A-W-S on Instagram. Whenever he's out looking for vinyl records and stuff at thrift stores and savers and, and whatever and half price books and all that, he's always keeping his eye open for uh, VHS tapes for me. Uh, this is a fan. This he's a big fan of this movie too. He likes this one a lot, and he's the one who actually turned me on to the band My Bloody Valentine. Coincidentally, uh, of course, they did remake this one in 2009 uh, in 3D. And I'm trying to remember because in 2009 would have been the somewhat early early days of digital film. Uh, well, not digital film, but digital projection. And I think my theater showed the remake, but we showed it on film because we didn't have digital projectors at the time. But I think you had to have digital projectors in order to show the 3D version, if I recall. I doubt they sent out 3D uh, red-blue prints back then, which only did a few times in the late 90s and early 2000s. There weren't a lot of film prints that they shipped out in 3D. And of course, it's a different type of 3D than the digital that you got years later. Nevertheless... This is one that I definitely always owned on DVD, and I, I believe I, deal, I, I still do have the Blu-ray, and I watch it on occasion. It's a good Valentine's Day watch, you know. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts below. Did you see this in 1981 when it originally came out? I didn't, because I was just born that year. Um, uh, <laughs> share your stories below, like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.